Hi Sandeep, this is Chris Grenier here with America Homes. And I know that we spoke earlier on the phone and you wanted me to email you back with uh, answers regarding all the questions you had, which is always good news. You know, I love when people have questions, especially when they're um, a little out of the ordinary, like you mentioned in terms of the alligators and the snakes and stuff like that. But uh, referring back to your original email you sent me yesterday, I wanted to touch upon some of the questions. One of them, the first one that we talked about was uh, if you're eligible to buy residential property in the USA, which as I said, absolutely you are. There's no restrictions in uh, foreign ownership in America, fortunately, especially for investment purposes. So that's not going to be any issue whatsoever. Now your next question was, do you need to pay any tax in, in America if you buy property? Uh, you do not have to pay any income tax. Why, why I mentioned you do have to file for them, meaning you have to declare the income that you did earn, and you also have to pay your annual property tax. Now, if you remember, that is the 1% a year that you would have to pay for the value of the house. For instance, if you buy a $100,000 house, you're going to be paying roughly $1,000 a year in property taxes. That's one bill that usually comes at the beginning of November and that you have until April to pay. So you have five or six months to actually pay the bill, whether you want to pay it through rental income or whether or not you want to pay it through uh, you know, one payment directly to the county. That's completely up to yourself. Uh, the next question that you had, if you invest $100,000, how much monthly rent will you get? Now, if you remember, our average rental income per property is $925 a month. That is for a typical three bedroom, two bathroom, single family home in Metro Orlando area, close to downtown, but still close enough to Walt Disney World and Universal Studios where you still have the rental demand for somebody who might work in the tourist district as well as the financial or the healthcare district. Uh, the next question is how much capital appreciation can you expect in two to three years? Now, as I mentioned, the statistics show that Orlando has seen a 28% increase year over year. From last August to this August, there has been a 28% increase in property value, which is absolutely extraordinary. So as you can imagine, if you were to take those figures, even if you cut them in half over the next two to three years, and you can average 10 to 12% of capital appreciation a year for the next three years, that's a significant amount of money, especially on $100,000. So you're looking at about $24,000 for the first two years, so $36,000 in three years in capital appreciation at 12% growth. Obviously, uh, that's not linear, but just for the sake of argument. So you're looking at roughly $36,000 in capital appreciation, plus another eight dollars to $9,000 a year in net rental income. Uh, the resale market in Florida is fantastic as well, too. So when you do go to sell, which we recommend anywhere from a five to seven year hold typically, but if you for some reason have a three to five year uh, plan to sell your property, you're more than welcome to. Our average time of sale is less than six weeks to resell your property for a profit. Now obviously if you wanted to sell it cheaper, which I wouldn't recommend, but you would sell it a lot quicker if for any reason six, re six weeks is too long for you. And then finally, what are the pro uh, plus points to buy in Florida? It's a, it's a no-brainer in my opinion. It's one of the quickest growing cities in the entire country. It's the number one tourist attraction in the entire world. You could be in Singapore or China or the UK or you could be in India or you could be in Canada. And everybody knows Orlando, Florida. That's why there's over a thousand people a day moving to Central Florida from all around the world. And 365 days a year, there is millions of dollars of revenue coming in from all corners of the globe. So we're not limited to strictly one type of industry here that's really keeping us afloat. While the major industry is obviously tourism, Orlando's coming strong with a very successful and quickly growing medical city and healthcare here is ab absolutely fantastic. Personally speaking, my, my girlfriend is actually within the healthcare industry herself too, so I see firsthand uh, how quickly the the medical field is growing. And also another large industry here in Orlando is the financial district because there is such a low cost of ownership, uh, I'm sorry, low cost of doing business here in Orlando since there's no state income tax for people. So it really draws the attention of corporations to come here because if you're a high level executive earning 
a million, two million dollars a year, you have no state income tax. For instance, if you were in New York, the state income tax there is up to 22% or more in some cases, depending on how much you earn. So if you're earning a million dollars a year, that's a significant amount of money you're saving just for living here. Um, and that's the same reason why many celebrities live in Orlando. And Windermere, which is the very next town over to Orlando, it's only about 12 miles away. You have athletes from all over the world, all your professional golfers, uh, such as Tiger Woods, obviously, as you may know, uh, many professional uh, athletes from basketball and football and baseball, uh, many artists, uh, music singers, band members, um, they're very popular here just because, again, for no state income tax, so it makes much sense to them financially to live in this city. Uh, one of the other questions that you mentioned upon was who's going to look after your property, and that's up to Rentals Orlando, who we work exclusively with, because they specialize in overseas investors. So they do a tremendous job of not only looking at after your property, but keeping you up to date with exactly what's going on with the property in terms of rental income, uh, quarterly inspections on your property, depositing your money for you, giving you your monthly statements, and really keeping you in the loop while not necessarily leaving you to worry about it. So in my opinion, they're worth every dollar, and you know we, we certainly pick them precisely for that reason. There's hundreds of property management companies here in Orlando, and we work with Rentals Orlando specifically for that reason. We have over 300 properties with them. They have yet to disappoint us in any way whatsoever, and we're, we're certainly happy to work with them. So you know we understand that our primary market is overseas investors, so it would be foolish for us to try to cater to a company that focuses on a local buyer rather than an international scale because that's not who we deal with. 99.8% of our clientele, they're based in the UK, they're based in China or Singapore, uh, Spain, Portugal, uh, Ireland, all throughout the entire world. So it's very important that we have somebody who is uh, comfortable and familiar with dealing with people all around the globe. Uh, so I think that pretty much summarizes all of your questions. I'm just touching uh, the notes right now on what we discussed. Um, I know that you said you're going to be coming over here in November, uh, late November, early December perhaps. So viewing your property will certainly be no issue whatsoever. As I mentioned, all we have to do is just provide a 24 to 48 hour notice to the tenant and they'll be more than happy to uh, you know, give you a tour of your house. Um, you know, as, you, as, as I mentioned, you, know, you certainly wanna respect their privacy. You know, as you wouldn't want strangers walking around your house while you might be the owner, you know, you're still technically a stranger to them. So it's always good to have proper introductions. Um, and uh, what else? As I mentioned, Monday, October 7th, uh, we're releasing a brand new property that's coming available in Metro Orlando that I'm absolutely positive is going to spark a lot of interest. So uh, I think that's going to be a great property for you to check out. And in the meantime, I'm going to send you some examples of previously sold ones. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me at any time. I'm always available. Uh, if not, you can always leave me a message. And fortunately, I'm pretty quick with emails and text messages and everything else. So I look forward to speaking to you soon, Sadeep. And uh, I hope that answered most of your questions. And we will speak on Monday. Take care.